Hello everyone, I'm Apoorva Pandita and welcome to Live Law. As we are already well aware that India's moon mission, Chandrayaan-3 achieved a remarkable feat yesterday by becoming the first country to successfully land near the moon's south pole. At around 6.3 pm, the lander touched the lunar surface, sparking joyous celebrations at the Mission Operations Complex at ISRO Telemetry Tracking and Command Network, Bengaluru. This achievement placed India among a selected group of nations. Only the US, the former Soviet Union, China and now India have accomplished the challenging task of gently landing on the moon's surface. Adarniya Pradhan Mandri Ji, Namaskar. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Soon after, the Chief Justice of India, D. Y. Chandrachur, extended his congratulations to the Indian Space Research Organization and India's scientific community on the successful Chandrayaan 3 moon mission. He expressed that this achievement marks a significant moment of pride for the country. The lunar landing not only joins India with a selected few nations that have achieved such a feat but also stands out because it's the first time a country has landed on the moon's south pole. This achievement is expected to open up fresh opportunities for scientific exploration and discovery. The CGI acknowledged the dedicated work of the ISRO team and the broader scientific community, emphasizing that they have truly made the nation proud. It is with immense pride as a citizen of our great nation, that I witnessed the remarkable landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon today. Uh, the success of the lunar mission places India in a select group of nations to have successfully achieved a landing on the lunar surface. It is all the more significant because India is the only nation to have achieved a lunar landing on the south pole of the moon. We're talking a little more about it. On July 14, 2023, India's space agency, the Indian Space Research Organization, initiated the Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission, embarking on a journey to explore the moon. This mission builds upon the achievements of its predecessors, that is Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2, and is designed to further expand our knowledge and innovations in space explorations. Almost four years after the launch of Chandrayaan-2, Chandrayaan-3 took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Andhra Pradesh. It was launched atop a powerful geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark III. This mission stands as a remarkable testament to India's commitment to enhance its standing within the global space community, showcasing its dedication to advancements in space technology and research. Well, this was all for today's video. We really hope that you like our content. And if you do, then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Now you can also become a member by donating Rs. 89 per month. Thank you.